Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this tutorial, we will see how we can create new user in SAP HANA using SAP HANA Studio. So for creating the users, we have to go to the security and under that we have users. So we can have the users and the roles under the security but for this tutorial, we will see how we can create the user. So once we will cl right click on this users, we have this option of new user. Once we will click on the new user, we have to give the name of the user. Let's say if we give demo underscore new underscore user. After that, we have to give the password of this. Let's say if we give any password to this. And then we have to confirm the password. So, then we have this force password change on next logon. So, if we want the user to change the like, password once the user log in, so we can click on yes. Otherwise, we can click on no. If we click on no, so the same password will be used by the user. Then we have this valid from and valid until. So, if we want to make the user active for certain period of time, we can select the from date and we can select the to date. So, the user will be valid only till this period of time. So, once we have selected the validity, after that we have the options of granting the roles, system privileges, object privileges. So, when we create the system in the uh, user in the system, so we should restrict the access to the data. We cannot provide the access to everything or we cannot provide the access to nothing. So, we have to provide the access to certain content in the system. So, let's say if I want to create the user to which I want to provide the access to only one schema here. What I will do here is I will go to the object privileges. I will click on this plus sign and here I can enter the name of the schema to which I want to give the access. So, let's say if I want to give the access only to the e-fashion schema. So, I can add the e-fashion schema here and if I go to the granted roles, I can see that there are no granted roles as such. Similarly, if I go to the object privilege, I can see that the user has the access to the e-fashion and here we can specify the privileges. So, we can specify here whether the user will have the alter access, user will have the create any access, user should have the create temporary table. So, here we have to define what kind of access the user should have on this particular schema. So, we can select this by using this checkbox. So, whatever access we want to give to the user on this schema, we can give here. And after that, we have this option of grant table to others. So, it means that if we provide yes to this option, it means the user should be able to provide alter access for the schema to other users as well. If we give no, then it means the user will not be able to give the alter access to the schema to other users. So, this is how we can control it. So, now let's say if we have done it, so we will click on the deploy. So, now this user is created and it is activated. So, what we will do here is we will go to the system and we will log in using this particular user. So, if I will click on the add system, here I will enter the name of the HANA system and then we have to give the name of a uh, number of the instance. After that, we will click on next. And here we have to enter the name of the user which we have just created which is demo underscore new underscore user. And here we have to give the password. After that we will click on finish. So if we go to the catalog here. So, we will be able to see that what all access this user has. Sorry, uh, we have to go to the demo new user. So, if we go to the catalog here, we can see that this user has the access to the e-fashion schema. 
whereas if I go to the HANA user and if I expand the catalog here so there are n number of schemas but this new user it it has only the access to the system system schemas and the e fashion so this is how we can restrict the access for the particular schema or the package or analytical privilege to a user while creating the user in SAP HANA system. So in this tutorial we have seen how we can create a new user and how we can specify the object privilege for the particular user so that the user should be able to see only the required objects in the system. Thank you.